I'm here. Uh, Jason, what are you doing and why are your shoes on the table? I'm getting Dash ready to play cards with the sixth graders from Williamsburg next week, just like you asked. Oh, and my shoes are on a table because I lost in a Dash last hand. <laughs> the students are gonna actually program Dash to play a game using cards. Oh, so can I have my shoes back? Uh, yeah, let's let's get your shoes back on uh, so that we can shoot this intro. Your shoes, thanks. Hey. We are in Mrs. Parrish's sixth grade class from Mary Welsh Elementary in Williamsburg, Iowa. Welcome to Think, Make, Innovate. Hi, I'm Jason Marshall. And I'm Amber Bridge. From our intro, you probably figured out in this episode, we're gonna be working with Dash, a robot created by Wonder Workshop. We partnered with a sixth grade class at Mary Welsh Elementary in Williamsburg, Iowa. They've actually spent a lot of time this year coding Dash, and in this challenge, they compete against each other in teams to play a card game of their own design. Huh, I thought robots only played chess. Well, they aren't actually playing cards. There's gonna be a grid laid out on the floor to help them with measurement and they're coding. And the teams take turns programming Dash to maneuver through the grid. If they can get him to land on a card, the team gets to keep that card. Oh, that sounds fun. Any, any special rules to the game? Well, actually, the students at Mary Walsh made up several rules of their own to make the game original to them. And for this challenge, we encourage you to come up with your own spin on the game as well. Yeah, sounds like a fun time. And if, if you're not familiar with Dash, uh, it's a robot that can be controlled by uh, several block coding apps available on the iPad. Uh, in this challenge, we use a Blockly app from Wonder Workshop. Uh, you can also use the Tickle app, though, which you may remember we featured that in a Sphero episode. That's correct. Similar to Sphero's, Dash can be programmed to move around, change colors, but it can also be programmed to say words or do impersonations. <laughs> One of my favorite things about Dash is how it can take inputs either with its audio or visual uh, sensors and then be coded to respond. That adds another layer to what the students can do with code. Absolutely. We hope you enjoy this episode with Dash and the students at Mary Walsh and hope that you try to take up the challenge and create your own game featuring this fun robot. If you do, we encourage you to share back with us what you've done. And as always, have, have fun, fun making! making. If you land on a 10, you have to say hi to the card. If you land on a 10, you have to flash your lights. Can we make a crash into the other dash? You lose your highest card. How about if you go outside the box, you lose your lowest card? Okay. No, that's okay. Yeah. And then ours is like when you land on an odd card, dash has to flash blue lights and say like whatever words you guys want to like, choose. Whatever word you want to choose. Yeah. Okay. okay. I think the Blockly app is pretty easy to use. It's better than having to type it up all by yourself. And it's, it's a fun app to use, especially for using Dash. Yeah, measuring. Definitely measuring. Well, she was doing the coding while we were trying to figure out which card to go for. The first time we uh, missed the seven, so we were off by ten centimeters, so we just did like ten, so we could get the seven this time. Are you starting to understand how far ten centimeters actually is? Yeah. our paper to measure. Why did you decide to use that? Um, because it's the longest thing we have. So do you think it's going to be pretty accurate? Do you think you're going to get the card you want? Yeah. yeah. Like, which card are you going for? The six. six.
it challenges your brain and you have to think, is it worth it to like, if you go out and come back in, would it be worth it to lose your lowest card since that's one of the rules we made? But if you get like a nine in return, then it would probably be worth it. But like going for an ace, if you lose points, you don't want to do it. But if you get points, you want to do it. But you don't know if you're going to lose or get points. So it's kind of like, it's a risk. I think he's a pretty cool like robot to experience with because like kind of like teaches us to like it's another way to teach us how to program things and like um, it challenge like Annalyn said it challenges our brains and it's really fun to see how like we can use an iPad to program a robot to do what we're telling it to do. If we could change the game, I would say we would have to change colors if we landed on a card. If we if we could play again, um, I would want like um, if landed on the card, do something. But if you didn't land on the card and you did something, then you have to give the team three points. I think that we should have been limited to the amount of blocks that we could do. We challenge you. To create a game using Dash. Let's go. Thanks, Williamsburg. Ta-da. Bye-bye.